Let's start by looking at nuclear reactions in general. Atoms are made up from a nucleus surrounded by electrons. Nuclear reactions involve changes in the nucleus which release energy. The nucleus is made up from positively charged protons and neutral neutrons. The number of protons in a nucleus is what defines an element. Because a nucleus contains these positively charged protons, which are all repelling each other, some other force must be keeping the nucleus together. This force, which is one of the four fundamental forces of nature, is called the strong nuclear force. But we don't normally notice it because it only acts over very short distances, like the size of a nucleus. Large nuclei have a tendency to split apart. This is because of the large size of the nucleus, which means that the short-range strong force is rather weak, and so the repulsion of the protons tends to dominate. This is one reason why heavy elements like uranium tend to be radioactive. When the nucleus breaks up, it releases energy, often in the form of the kinetic energy of its products. This process of breaking up is called nuclear fission, and is the way conventional nuclear reactors develop their energy. By contrast, light elements can fuse their nuclei together, but only if the nuclei have enough energy to overcome the large repulsive force of their positively charged protons for long enough to let the strong force act and pull them together. Such large energies exist, for example, in the hearts of stars. This process by which light elements fuse together is called fusion. Elements lighter than iron tend to fuse. Those heavier tend to fission. This can be seen in a diagram of a potential energy contained in the nucleus, which is called the binding energy. 